Hi everyone, my name is Jeremiah McGee with VMware and welcome to the Azure VMware Solution Technical Overview Series. This series is broken up into nine different video modules covering an overview of the service itself, deployment, storage, network and connectivity, workload and application mobility with VMware HCX, management and operations, and supported VMware solutions that integrate directly with AVS. Finally, we'll wrap up the series with a discussion around availability, maintenance, and remediation. Let's jump in with an overview of the service. VMware and Microsoft provide the best of both worlds in a public cloud. Azure VMware Solution combines VMware's proven enterprise-grade compute, networking, and storage capabilities with the massive scale, elasticity, provisioning speed, flexible consumption, and geographic presence of the Azure cloud. Due to consistent infrastructure between on-premises and the cloud, customers aren't required to make changes or refactor their applications in order to migrate them. In fact, companies can move applications live at scale without any downtime. Because our customers already have VMware expertise, this brings consistency in operations between on-premises and the cloud. For day-to-day -day administrative tasks, there's nothing new to learn and the same tools and processes can be used. Customers can save by moving to AVS over traditional on-premises infrastructure, such as vSphere only with non-converged compute, networking, and storage. AVS runs on the latest hardware that improves price performance, and the AVS hyper-converged infrastructure combines compute, storage, and networking to enable lower pricing, and vSphere in the cloud drives up consolidation ratios. Additionally, highly qualified Microsoft operations and security teams, and a large degree of platform lifecycle automation in Azure enable cost savings on administration. If you're considering another public cloud, consider the advantages of migrating to Azure and AVS, particularly if you're a Windows Server or SQL Server shop. For business decision makers, Microsoft has introduced a number of specific cost savings for AVS. These include free security updates for Windows Server 2008 R2 and SQL Server 2008 R2 for four years beyond the end of extended support date for these products. Extended security updates typically cost around 75 to 125 percent of the base software license cost per year, and that makes running legacy Microsoft platforms on clouds prohibitively expensive if the customers want to stay secure, as they should. No other VMware hyperscaler service has free security updates. Microsoft has announced that Azure and AVS will provide free extended security updates for SQL Server 2012 R2 and Windows Server 2012 R2 when those products reach their end of extended support dates in 2022 and 2023. Customers can bring their existing on-premises Windows Server and SQL Server licenses with software assurance to Azure and AVS under the Azure Hybrid Benefit Program. This allows them to save up to 40% on Microsoft licensing costs. No other VMware hyperscaler service allows bring your own licensing for Windows and SQL Server licenses purchased after October 2019. Microsoft also allows for the deployment of downloadable Office 365 NVDI desktops running in AVS. All other VMware hyperscaler services are restricted from running downloadable Office 365 applications. For IT infrastructure and operations teams, the integration between Microsoft Tools and the Microsoft SDDC simplifies initial and day-to-day -day operations. Specifically, Azure credits are used to purchase AVS, the Azure portal is used to manage AVS subscriptions, and a unified Azure services bill includes AVS. Azure Resource Manager templates can be used to automate deployment of AVS capacity and environment configurations, and integrated audit logging, alerting, and metrics management are displayed in the Azure portal as well as Azure Monitor. For application developers, the integration between the Microsoft Azure environment and the VMware SDDC accelerates delivery of modern applications. Developers can modernize components of existing vSphere applications with Azure's market-leading services such as IoT, as well as develop and deploy applications across VMware and Azure environments through Azure Cloud APIs. The integration of the VMware SDC and vCenter into the Azure portal gives developers a single pane of glass to manage all of the Azure services, including AVS. Integrated identity management across VMware and Azure environments minimizes access control issues when leveraging Azure services from within the AVS SDDC environment. So you might be saying to yourself, well, that's all great information, but what exactly is Azure VMware Solution? 
Well, AVS combines VMware compute, networking, and storage running on top of dedicated bare metal hosts inside the Microsoft Azure cloud. Because vSphere is running on bare metal, customers get the same performance and resilience they are accustomed to having on-premises. The service is jointly engineered with Microsoft and validated by VMware. This means that Azure delivers the initial environment and provides periodic updates and fixes, remediates any hypervisor, server, or network failures, and provides support. It also means that the service is fully integrated with Azure's native services. Customers are not required to have anything from VMware on-premises. However, if they have any VMware technologies on-premises, they can maximize the value of that offering and easily migrate workloads from on-prem to the cloud. There are five primary use cases for AVS that our customers are using for their digital transformations. Application modernization is simplified if apps are migrated to AVS where they can be incrementally modernized by attaching them to Azure services or gradually refactoring them to cloud native standards, either using Azure Kubernetes service or directly on AVS with its support for Tanzu standard. Cloud migration is perhaps the most common AVS use case. It applies to customers that need to move to the cloud due to trigger events such as C-level mandates, lease expirations, CapEx to OpEx transitions, uh, and aging hardware. Data center extension is a use case that applies to customers that need extra capacity in the cloud due to demand, such as holiday spikes in the retail industry. A related reason to expand operations to Azure on AVS is, a, is Windows Server and SQL Server software that is beyond its end of support date, after which customers would need to pay prohibitive prices to Microsoft to receive security updates unless those workloads are then migrated to Azure. Desktop virtualization in the cloud has been a major use case for AVS during the COVID-19 pandemic when customers needed to rapidly expand support for remote workers. AVS came to the rescue with its support for VMware Horizon virtual desktops that customers could run on a native VMware platform and manage as an extension of their on-premises Horizon infrastructure. Horizon on AVS also provides an excellent disaster recovery solution to protect customers' on-premises Horizon desktops. Disaster recovery in the cloud is enabled by support for VMware Site Recovery Manager and other third-party DR solutions within AVS. SRM on AVS lets customers replace their own DR facilities by using Azure and AVS as their DR sites. SRM on AVS provides all the reliability and testability advantages of VMware's premier DR solution, and SRM also allows customers to protect their workloads running in AVS by replicating them and recovering them on AVS running in another Azure location for cloud-to-cloud -cloud DR. AVS is available in more global cloud data centers than any other VMware cloud offering. Microsoft offers the AVS service in 20 of Azure's 60 plus regions globally and is continuously adding new AVS regions. The broad geographic coverage of AVS is critical for customers that need to place workloads in Azure data centers in their own country to comply with data sovereignty regulations. VMware and Microsoft are committed to delivering a cloud service that adopts industry best practices in order to meet a comprehensive set of international and industry-specific security and compliance standards. Both companies adhere to rigorous security standards and are expanding coverage for various industry-specific security and compliance measures. A real strength of AVS is that it inherits the security and compliance certifications of the Azure cloud that it runs within. So Azure VMware Solution complies with the regulatory and industry certifications you see listed here, including SOC, ISO, CSA, CDSA, European Banking, High Trust, MPAA, and more. In this module, we talked about what Azure VMware Solution is, the key benefits and use cases of the service, and where the service is available, as well as industry certifications. Next up, my colleague Steve Pantall will take you through an overview of an AVS deployment.